This is a follow-up to my sub power-up guide video. If you haven't seen that and want to know what a different gear ability does to a different type of weapon, I'd recommend checking that out after this one. Hello everyone, this is Luxon. Welcome to what's going to be the first of not necessarily an ongoing series, but an ongoing concept on this channel, which is something I'm going to call Splat Weekly Videos, where I'm going to try to upload one Splatoon or Splatoon 2, probably mostly Splatoon 2 because the first one's kind of dead, related video every Sunday. This is going to be the first that I'm going to do weekly, so next week there's going to be one and so forth when there weren't consistent Splatoon uploads on this channel in the past, but this is still a successor to a previous video I made. Last time I talked about what the sub power up gear ability does to each different sub weapon, and this time I'm going to talk about what special power up does to each special weapon. Just like how sub power up was the evolved form, so to speak, of bomb range up, special power up is also an enhanced version of an ability from the first game. That ability was called special duration up and was pretty self explanatory. It extended the length that your special lasted no matter what special you used. Unlike Bomb Range Up, which was completely useless for a couple sub-weapons, Special Duration Up did affect every special weapon, at least slightly, although it was a lot more useful for some than others. So it was still changed to a Power Up type ability for the sequel, for balancing purposes. Just like last time, I'll be showing two screens at once. The one on the left is no Special Power Up, and the one on the right it will be two mains of Special Power Up to show the difference between using it and not using it. Also, just like last time, the first set of abilities we go through are going to be the ones where Special Power Up gives the exact same effect Special Duration Up does, which is increase the duration of the special. These include all three bomb launchers, Curling Splat and Suction Bombs, the Ink Armor, the Ink Jet, the Ink Storm, and the Stingray. Obviously, running Special Power Up with any of these weapons will just make them last longer when you use them. This is good in most cases, except for maybe Stingray leaving you immobile for a bit longer, since most of these specials are more passive ones, and little known fact, you can use your main weapon with the bomb launcher, so don't say, oh, that guy flanked up on me because I had my bomb launcher, I couldn't defend myself. No, you just, just turn around and shoot them with your gun, you can still do that. That was in the first game, too. Anyway, besides that, and moving on cool thing about special power-up is that besides the ones that just get the duration boost, every other special weapon has a completely different effect and a lot of them are more unique than the special power ones, in which I said that pretty much the only really cool one was what it did for beacons. First up is the baller, which gets a health buff, so it'll take more damage to destroy it. You'd think that it might get maybe a damage buff or an effective range buff or something like that, but no, it actually just gets more health. It'll always last the same amount of time, it'll always explode the same size, and now that it was buffed, it kind of doesn't need to get any bigger explosion for anything. So, that's what that does. You can sort of rush in with it a little better. It's not just a flanking tool if you use special power-up, and it it's kind of the best special in the game right now, so it's not just a flanking tool already. Next up, we have the newest special weapon, and the only reason I didn't do this video right after making the last one, because it wasn't out at the time I recorded it, the Bubble Blower. This one is cool because it's an instance of the buff special power-up gives actually also having a drawback. Special power will increase the size of the bubbles the Bubble Blower puts out. You'll still get three, they'll still last the same amount of time, and they still work the same way. However, the blast radius for the explosion will increase, so it will cover a wider area. That could be good for zones, that can be good for killing people, it's kind of obvious why having a bigger explosion on your explosion is a good thing. But, the drawback to that is, you actually have to inflate the bubble to a bigger size to get it to pop with this. The bubble actually requires more hits in order to pop, to balance out the fact that it's bigger and gets a bigger explosion. This is good, and it keeps the buff balanced under any possible circumstance. Moving on, we've got the Splashdown, which is probably the most vanilla buff besides the duration ones. It just gets a blast radius increase. Honestly, I would complain about this being unoriginal, but it's just really fun using gigantic Splashdown on people, so I'm not complaining whatsoever. And last up, we've got probably my favorite special to use, even if it's not that good, the Tenta Missiles, in which the size of the targeting reticle is increased. So. The speed of the missiles, the size of the missiles, the damage of the missiles, the duration you can hold them before firing, that all stays the same, but the actual targeting reticle is increased, so you can have 
more of your field of view in the reticle at a time, and you can have enemies who are further apart locked on. That's it for this video. I know I kind of rambled a bit, but I didn't want this to seem too short in comparison to the sub power up one since there honestly were just less things to say about special power, so I decided to add in a little commentary and tips on that as well. But, like I said, Splatoon videos every Sunday, so next one is going to be what Splatoon 2 special weapons replace Splatoon 1 special weapons, so we're keeping on the whole special weapon train for now. I'm also let's playing Xenoblade Chronicles X and upload some random other gaming videos every now and then on a Wednesday, so if you're interested in any of that, you should probably subscribe to this channel. I've also got a Twitter and a Twitch. I'll tweet when I upload videos and when I start streaming on Twitch, and pretty much the only thing I stream on Twitch is Splatoon 2, so if you want more me and you want more Splatoon, you should probably check me out there. But until next time, this is Luxon, signing off.